Seth and Rakaya, as I've thought about your journey here, it crossed my mind that it might be intimidating to date somebody who also worked in A&R. Because the job, as well as I understand it at one level, is to evaluate talent, to be critical, to be realistic about future possibilities, to assess the risk-reward investment. And likely that could be difficult to compartmentalize when you're dating with somebody. I mean, that's just part of what you do. And how thrilling it is to uh, know that you've chosen well in your affirmations. Rakai, in just over an hour, I get to see you in your dress for the first time and express my vows. I feel my nerves going as we are, putting out love on display to our family and friends, but I'm so ready for this moment. I'm so ready for you to have the England name just like Theo and May May. May. All the planning is done. All there is left to do is be in the moment together and soak this in. And the best of all, I'm certain you will be the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. You're lovely, elegant, and rare, and I'm sure you'll be no different today. Thank you for choosing me and choosing us and choosing to stay here. I love you, my bride, Seth. You still live right in front of us Like when I saw you for the first time To my husband, it's foreign for us since the day we met to be separate for any period of time. And even when that happens, we talk all day, we're called. Naturally, I want to see you already and ask you what you think of my outfit, ha. Huh. And ease my nerves because we both hate attention. I'm the luckiest woman in the world to get to marry you and I've never been more confident about my decision. You're going to look great in your suit. Your hair looks good, I promise. <laughs> I cannot wait to marry you and become your wife. We will drink, laugh, and dance the night away. Our chapter begins today. I love you. See you soon, Rakai. My love, you have challenged me in ways you may not even realize. Through your unwavering support, I have better learned to be a balanced husband, father, and entrepreneur. You've shown me what it truly means to be unapologetically yourself, regardless of what other people think. Your ability to be proud of yourself, flaws and all, is a powerful lesson I carry with me each day. I'm excited beyond measure to grow together as parents and partners in love. Our path may not have followed the traditional order, but to me, it only adds to the uniqueness of our story. You're my person, Seth. It is as if you were perfectly crafted by God to find me and for us to find each other. I love you for not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. Love, me. love your wife. Thank you. I know I felt like this before. It reminds me what I God, I said, take you, Rakai, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Rakai, take you, Seth, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Yes. May, I kiss, may I kiss the bride. <laughs> Honor, I was asked to do a toast, and I'm so glad, man. Uh, Seth and Rakaya, there are many roads up the mountain, but it is a road up the mountain, and it is a ball buster. And you guys have made it, and you guys are an inspiration. I'm so happy, so happy to wrap this up. I have walked with this young man a long way. It does my heart good. Mr. and Mrs. Seth England. I can't let it go I'm feeling good Cause I never say never Cause I find my place Where I'm always feeling good I'm feeling good Because with our company
property, we have a lot of young kids, and we go to a lot of weddings, and we joke, we do the old wedding crashers thing of they're going to do Corinthians. Take a bit. So everybody does Corinthians, and you guys did Corinthians too. Corinthians is the Taylor Swift pop song of biblical verses for your wedding. May every marriage in this room be stronger from hearing this from the book of Ruth. Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or turn my back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. I love Taylor Swift and I love some Corinthians, but by God, I love some good straight up hardcore country songwriting like that right there, my friends. <laughs> Seth Rakaia, March 1st, 2024. Amen. I'm feeling good.